Me and the fellas need to talk business, so you're going to look after my girl for the evening. Hey, Maria, move your butt. Dumb broad does this every time. And here she is, the one and only Queen of Sheba. What were you doing up there? Whatever it was, I bet it cost me money. Well, you don't think I hang around here for the conversation, do you? Get in the car and keep your big mouth shut. Take the limo, but bring it back in one piece, you hear me? And watch her. She can be trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure your new lapdog has everything covered. And isn't he big and strong? Hey, fighter, let's go visit Chico and get some party treats. He's at the rail station at the Chinatown waterfront, I think. Catterbox. Today we're talking about anything, it seems. You have something to say about anything, call now. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah, I love the show. Love your people, baby. That's what made this country great. People, opinions, and stuff. Most of all, guns. I had a few people whine about guns that kill people. Guns don't kill people. Death kills people. Ask a doctor. It's medical fact. You can't die from a bullet. You can die from a cardiac arrest, from organ failure, or major hemorrhage. It's a small piece of metal ain't the problem. Besides, I only use my machine gun in six miles home in a car. I ain't hurt nobody. In countries that don't have guns, ain't American. You know, that's a really good point. Countries that don't have guns aren't American. You know, if more people had guns... I'm Mira, it's my favorite lady. You're looking for some fun? A little, hmm, some spank? Hey, Chico. Nah, just the usual. Where you go, lady? Hey, maybe you should check out the warehouse party at the East End of Atlanta Keys. Thanks, Chico. See you around. Gracias. And enjoy. That's good stuff. Hey. Good point. I think that's a lesson to us all. All right. Come on, Fido. Let's go and check out the party. I recently moved to Liberty City from Hampshire, in England. Oh, really? How do you like it? I mean, is it hard to get used to the language? You, you speak English pretty good. Oh, thank you, Nancy. Yes, yes, I, I do like it here. There's one thing, though, that's just very different. rather worrying. When I was a boy in England, I had a nanny. One who was very different. Yeah, well, I mean, there's excellent child care here in America. Well, well I'm sure. When, when, when I was a naughty boy, I, 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 I'd get spanked. Na nanny, Nanny was spanked me when I was naughty. And now, now Freddy needs Nanny. Because when Freddy's naughty, he needs to get spanked. Well, there's some child psychologists in... This is Chatterbox. We're talking about short guys, nannies, taxes, and... Four, five, all units. This is narcotic to the event of Chatterbox. I was listening to that caller about taxes. It's you, a little extreme. How do you expect to be a responsible member of society if you don't understand... It's a Why are people afraid of suckers? Why do co-signers who have made all these incredible discoveries of these nannies? I mean, the Cartesian coordinate system has an elemental power. I find it liberating. I'm not even going to say it. Let's reward the other 2% with a commercial. When we come back, we'll have a special studio guest. Special because he advertises on this radio station. Remember, it's not a conflict of interest if we own all the radio stations in town. We'll be right back after this message. In today's fast-paced world, a split second can be the difference between achieving your dreams... Hey, I just won the Nobel Peace Prize! ...and not. Well, the wonder for Ashland's on demand. More Americans are realizing if you don't have the latest and greatest technological devices, you will fall behind. I didn't upgrade my personal organizer, and two days later I was diagnosed with a terminal illness. <laughs> That's exactly why you should come visit the friendly people at House of Tomorrow, and they'll set you up with all your 21st century technology needs. I only spent $20,000, and now I can get email in the shower or surf the internet while I'm driving. I was bored stupid at my daughter's recitals and my son's Little League games. But thanks to House of Tomorrow, I could play wireless head-to-head -head 3D virtual reality poker literally anywhere. If it's a flash in the pan technology of absolutely no use to anyone, you can find it at House of Tomorrow. Remember, only technology makes life worth living. 
house of tomorrow. We'll upgrade your system, then you can upgrade your life. You know, I enjoyed myself for the first time in a long while. You, you know, you treated me really good with respect and everything. Well, I better go. <laughs> I'll see you around, baby. Leave us alone for a minute. The Colombian cartel is making spank somewhere in Liberty, but we don't know where. And they seem to know everything we're doing before we do. We got us a rat. There's a guy named Curly Bob, works the bar at Luigi's. He's been throwing more money around than he's earning. He ain't pimping or pushing, so he must be talking. He usually gets a taxi home after work, so follow him. And if he's ratting us out, kill him. In their hearts, Laszlo, they know they have been saved. Uh, okay. We're gonna open it up to the phones. If you've got any questions for Fernando Martinez, exotic marriage guidance made easy, ring us now. Hey, oh, cool, we have a caller on line one. Caller, you are on Chatterbox. Hi, Laszlo. Hey, Fernando. My name's Jerry, Jerry and I'm a first-time caller. And I just wanted to say, hey, Laszlo, you're real tough on Fernando back there. I'll tell you one thing. He's a miracle worker. He saved my marriage, and I married a bus of a woman. Now I don't feel sick every time I open my eyes. See, Laszlo? You see? I remember Jerry so well. He come in, he is like a broken man. Like a half a man. A man, if you will. He has no end anymore. And his marriage, it is killing him. Where is the passion? She is gone. Replaced by ugliness. You see, Laszlo, Mrs. Jerry, she's not a pretty lady. She's more like an offensive lion or a tight end big and hairy, but first tale, she gives Jerry five kids, but she's even bigger. Now, she's like a whole offensive lion. He feels no pride in himself. He has no pride in his marriage. He is ashamed of this wonderful lady who bears him so many young, and he comes to me, and he cries, Fernando, save my marriage. I love my wife, even though she is a fat worker. And I say, Jerry, you are a man. It is a man's duty to love his wife, even if she is like a farmer. And now, Jerry is saying, but... Union, a blessing. A beautiful union by a, an adulterer and Queen Kong. That, that's great. So, uh, who's on the line now? Hi, Laszlo. Janet. I love the show and always wanted to call in. You really offended me today. Who is this gutter trash you got on the show? Hey, Janice, I share your anxiety. The studio kind of uh, forced him on me. Hey, you watch yourself, mister. And you, Janice, why are you so ugly? Your husband, he not make you happy? No, he's an idiot. And a jerk. Here comes our little friend, Mr. Big Mouth himself. Were you followed? You know what goes on here is our little secret, amigo. No, no, I, I wasn't followed. You got my stuff? Here's your spank, squealer. Now talk. Okay, so the Leones are fighting wars on two fronts. They're in a turf war with the triads, with no sign of either side giving up. Meanwhile, Joey Leone has stirred up some bad blood with the Ferrellis. Every day they're losing men and influence in the city. Salvatore's becoming dangerous and paranoid. 
He expects everybody and everything. And with loyalty like yours, what has he possibly got to worry about? A travesty. I work miracles, senor. Not pimpy. I say, I give the passion back. And you better wash yourself, buddy. Because... Hey. is a big place there, buddy. We're in Latin. I do not need to listen to these insults. I have pride. I have a calling. Many are called, but few are chosen. And I was called and chosen to work a miracle. So, uh, where were you called from, Fernando? Oh, it's you. Tony ain't here. But he left one of his sugary love letters for you. We're at war. The Triads have a fish factory as a front. Most of their business goes down at the fish market in Chinatown. The laundry still owes us protection. They reckon the Triads are protecting them now, so I say we exact a fitting punishment. Take those boys over and whack the Triad warlords. Hell, if you get a chance, pop some of their soldiers, too. like a great rally, but we're not a political station, and you haven't really told us why people should do this. What is it about? Look, look, do you want to help or not? I don't know what I'm helping. You're helping a fellow. What kind of people are you? It's a rally. You don't know what it's for, do you? It's for hope. Please come, everybody. It'll be real good. All right, you fight the power, brother. Say, later on in the show, if you're into uh, health foods or martial arts, we'll have a special guest just for you. This guy's really special. Not like a romantic cruise, but he can't walk on water. All right, let's go to the phones. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Huh? <laughs> you're on Chatterbox. What's on your mind? Oh, wow. I can't believe it. Do you have a question? Dude, I call every day and I never get through. Amazing. You do a great job.
on the morning after. Flashback FM. What a ride she's gonna be, huh? All right, listen. Get some wheels to the safe house at St. Mark's and pick up a few friends of mine. They're hitting the bank and they need a driver. I gave my word that you were the man, so don't screw this up. Get him to the bank before five o'clock, not a minute after. I gotta go on vacation. You're from the team, Cobras, manatees, and white rhinos. All delivered overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, now joining us in the studio, we have a very special guest. His new book, Karate and Digestion, has been one of the top 100 self-help books for the past three weeks. He is the founder of Now and Zen Dojo and Organic Food Market in Trenton. His name is Reed Tucker. Welcome to Chatterbox, Reed. Why, thank you, Vatlo. It certainly is an honor to be here today. So tell me, Reed, where did you think of the idea of combining martial arts and organic food? I mean, I mean it's kind of like putting ice cream on pizza. Both are great, but they really shouldn't be put together. Okay, Vatlo. Actually, it is nothing like ice cream with pizza. Ice cream is milk-based, as we all know, and I am lactose intolerant. Just put bank on the main drag. They have Italian origins, but I won't go on. Martial arts are about discipline and physical empowerment, not watching football and eating junk food. You have to explore your mind and your digestive system last well. What you put in also comes back. Especially corn. What's the story with that anyway? Radlow, I'm deadly serious now. My mentor was a 430-year-old monk who showed me the way to enlighten Okay. Yep. Keep the engine running. We'll be in and out in no time. I think we all went through a ninja period. You know, I had the Chinese stars. And vegan diet, I had the power of nine men. After morning meditation and a three-bean salad, I could... All units on bank are in progress. I believe it is one of them. No offense, but... It's out of here. Tasty dude. It says on the inside cover of your book that you still live in your parents' basement. Okay, it, it's not a basement. I prefer a center for spiritual enlightenment. In chapter 17 of my book, which I know you've read, I address the dangers of cynicism. That those, those mind, those fists, those karate means open hand. But it might as well mean open mind. If you like deep breath, I think you'll believe that. Well, I'm not a masticating cow, so I really don't enjoy chewing damp hay and prancing around in leggings, shouting, oh, yeah. Okay, that though, I'm warning you this time, do not get me angry. Bad for my karma. It will definitely be bad for your karma. I studied the martial arts like a stand up bully just like you, and I encourage everyone listening out there on Chatterbox to buy my book and learn how organic food and martial arts can help you. <laughs> and I encourage anyone who needs a doorstop or booster seat to buy it as well. Let's see who's on the phones. Yeah, bro. Here's your final warning. You don't need to go into my dragon's dance. <laughs> Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hello, Reed. I bought your book. It really saved my life. Why, thank you. I wanted to Okay, I've had enough of this shit. We're gonna finish the triads in Liberty once and for all. Eight balls rigged a dust cart with a bomb. It's on a timer, so if you mess up, there'll be no evidence. Go and pick up the dust cart. Careful. Eight ball says it's real sensitive, and the slightest bump could set that thing off. Their fish factory will open its gates for a dust cart, so you can drive right in. Park up between the gas canisters and get the hell out of there. I want it to rain mackerel. We're talking real biblical here. Nothing low budget.
concentration begins in the mind and spreads to all the extremities of the body. We must use the language of the body, not the tongue. And the language of the body begins with the broad mind. Just look at me. I could tear a phone book in half on my bare toes. In fact, that knows. I could easily chop this desk in two half desks. This desk is made of two inch thick composite wood pulp and has a mahogany veneer finish. Three drawers, and knowing this station, it cost hundred dollars. In his own words, Reed Tucker is about to smash it into two half desks. Take it away, Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, I already visualized the desk in two half desks, and now I shall make it so. Dragon stance. Hey, yeah! Oh, 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 Lano, Lano, I think I hurt my hand, but. Pinky fell bent the wrong way. Listen, Karate Kid, the death gets still in one piece. Thanks for coming on the show. Okay, that's a mockery. Nowhere. Oh, I'm Ruth Eden. You're throwing tofu with her bean curds at me. It's very funny, lad, though. You didn't make fun of me, but it's all the fault that comes from you. Downright disgraceful. Yes, it makes me talk like this. Okay, the listener lines are open. This is Chatterbox. You're on the air. Hey, Laszlo. That last guy was a lunatic. Where'd you dig him up from? The state movie then? That wacko you had going on about killer me. What a moron. I mean, just read a newspaper. Killer me. Uh, the evils of artificial sweeteners and soda pop. Roswell. It's all part of the government's propaganda plan. I might as well wear a satellite dish. You can see the propaganda right into my brain. Come on. Do you honestly believe the NSA's echelon system is already reading your emails and recording your phone conversations? It's all designed to frighten us so we don't complain about our rights being taken away whatever boogeyman they come up with today. Uh, well, I mean, you realize that the government listens to this station, and, and if they weren't paying particular attention... 